When it was released four years ago, Rick Mayall's rallying cry, Noble England, went nowhere. It didn't trouble the charts and was destined for obscurity. But that was until this man and his ex-wife decided to harness the power of social media to pay tribute to the late comedian. Obviously we heard the sad news on Monday and within about half an hour on, on Twitter of the news coming out, I had loads of tweets and emails and Facebook messages going, hey, you know, you worked on the original release, uh, let's, let's get it out there again and uh, let's, you know, let's give him a good send off. On, on you noble English. John actually helped promote the single when it first came out. Tracy took the publicity pictures. He had so much energy and it, it was just taking pictures while you're laughing is quite difficult, <laughs> especially when it's one of your very first jobs. Um, I have some amazing memories. Um, at one point we were going around in a golf buggy while Rick waved to tourists pretending he was a king. I think my favourite part was when he said, come to daddy. They've been here before. The pair were behind the successful internet campaign a few years ago, which saw the American rock band Rage Against the Machine beat X Factor to the Christmas number one. I think you'd have a few expletives uh, to sort of shower at us because that's, that's what Rick was like. Uh, but I, I think he'd be proud. He was, one thing I do remember from the previous campaign was that he was, he was really keen and he was really up for the song and he really wanted it to work. So I think it, you know, it, he'd be loving it, he really would. John and Tracy believe the success of their campaign is more down to the love people feel for Rick Mayle. All they did was harness it. Matt Preecy, BBC News.